Only the hypostyle hall has survived the centuries of damage from inundation. The temple now stands some nine meters below the level of the modern town which has grown up around it. The hypostyle hall, which contains a dense and tall forest-like spread of columns with composite floral capitals of varying designs, typifies the layout of ancient Egyptian temple complexes such as this one. The examination of ancient buildings provides us with a key to the level of understanding that ancient building engineers had of building materials and their limitations. Accurately monitoring and recording the temple sites and their surrounding complexes is an ongoing program fundamental to the conservation efforts being made throughout Egypt. Surveyors are used to maintain accurate measurement records and to provide early warning of any future risk due to ground movement, for instance, that could affect the remaining structures which are being maintained by international conservation teams. Our journey further down the calm, winding River Nile towards Aswan takes us to the temples of Philae. Throughout Egypt there are a vast amount of temples in various conditions, but mostly they now only offer a partial glimpse to their once great standing and position in a thriving complex community. Subjected to the erosive effects of the desert sands, as well as frequent historical flood damage, many have lost the painted relief details once adorning the walls, ceilings and columns of these monumental buildings. Here at Philae, I've come to examine examples of Egyptian stone arches erected during the late reign of Diocletian. At this site, we can find examples of the Egyptian method of constructing stone arches without centering in a wonderful miniature triumphal classic arch to be found in the northeast corner of the site. 